fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now holds in Pride of Phoenix Media. So in today's video, it's not a video tutorial, this is more of a prelude or an introduction to the future where I'm heavily considering doing a PS3 Slim E3 Flasher downgrade tutorial and I think it's going to be badass. So I just recently got this system off of Craigslist for dirt cheap and let me show you what I got it for just to humor you guys. So I got the system, we got this um, video cord, power cord, and the guy even gave me some free games here to go along with it. So I got this game, Fracture, Army of Two, uh, there's this UFC 2010 basically game, Virtual Fighter 5, Uncharted 2, great game. And then we're back to the beginning here, Saints Row the Third. But there's no game controller, which is fine. I already have, you know, two PS3 game controllers. And um, if you guys want to, you know, wonder how much I paid for it, leave a comment in the YouTube section. Let's have you guys guess to see how much I got it for. But it was a really great, ridiculous deal. Now, there are some things. It is used. The guy was trying to mess around with it. He wasn't really tech savvy. He tried replacing the hard drive, so I don't have this sliding cover case right here. But the hard drive does work. I did realize it's a 20 gigabyte hard drive, so that's not an issue. I can easily upgrade that later on. But I tested the system, and it works great. So, got for a great deal. If you guys are curious what model number this is, this is, hopefully it focuses, CECH-2001A. And guess what? Yes, it does use a NOR chip, and that's the main reason why I got this PS3. So I can use my E3 flasher. And real quick, here's the back of the system. So... If you guys remember, or maybe not, I have done a PS3 E3 flasher tutorial for my fat PS3. And for the longest time, I always wondered, hey, what it would be like to do it for the PS3 Slim. And here's my E3 flasher from before, if you guys remember it. Pretty cool. Paperback edition. And here's my infamous E3 flasher clip. Yes, it's still working great. And now I get to blow the dust off of it and reuse it again for the PS3 Slim. So... Here's my question to you guys. I know there's a lot of different PS3 Slim tutorials on YouTube, E3 Flasher. I'm going to do my own take on it, my own version. But before I do that series, it's going to take a while before I get all the parts because I need some new thermal grease. But what are your guys' questions? What, what kind of things are you seeing in other people's videos that you wish that the creator or YouTube content creator explained further? What are some things that you want to see? So when I do my own version... I will try to address all those concerns. I'll leave a, a question in the comments there just to remind people in case you haven't seen the whole video here. And that is my goal. So probably in the next couple of weeks here, once I get everything together, I'm going to do a, a three-part video. Part one is going to be a disassemble to PS3, like a quick disassembly. And then part two is going to be installing E3 Flasher, doing the backup dumps, verifying the dumps, and reflash it back to the unit. And then the third part is... Uh, installing the OFW 3.55 or the um, respective downgrader programs and then upgraded. So I actually updated the system to 4.76. So we're going to be having a lot of good times in the future here. Downgrading from 4.76 to 3.55 OFW. In my Fat PS3 video tutorial at the time, I had a 4.60 or 4.66 OFW and I downgraded that guy to 3.55. And from what I've seen, Downgrading a PS3 should be easier than downgrading a fat PS3. So, is that true? I'll soon find out once I um, do the video tutorial series myself. Once I have proven to myself that I got everything working, then I will unleash the three-part series. And, uh, man, it's going to be a, a really great time. So I can't wait to do it. So, that is today's video. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.